But it's true, man. I don't know what it is. After my 30s, I am a different person now. Like, I'm super protective, especially of the people around me. Especially my wife. My wife, uh, every time she gets hit on now, I lose it. It's like angry black man to the 10th power. I start knocking over tables, screaming at high octaves. And it's really hard for me, because she's a nurse at an elderly home. So she gets hit on all the time. <laughs> day in and day out. Checkers and trying to have sex with people. That's all they do in that facility. <laughs> and they never ask my wife to play checkers, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's the worst. And she's a great nurse. Like, she's really good at her job, so she's used to getting compliments all the time. So most of the time, she doesn't even register it as being hit on. She just thinks it's another compliment. And she comes home, and she brags about that shit in my face, and I have to just sit there and take it the whole time. <laughs> oh, Nathan, one of my patients just wheeled up to me and told me I was the most beautiful person in the whole world. Isn't that awesome? No. <laughs> That's not awesome at all. Fuck you, dude, wherever you are. You think just because you're older than me, you can hit on my wife and I'm gonna take it like a bitch? I don't think so. He's had twice as much time to find a mate than I have. Why does he have to come after me, right? I'll never fight an older man, because I'm a gentleman. One of us has to be, okay? But you keep that shit up, I'll put a broom handle right in your spokes. You understand me? You will go nowhere. You will starve to death in this hallway. Government's paying for you. Ain't nobody coming. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> I don't get it. Why are you guys feeling bad for that? Fuck that dude, man. I'm telling you. Why do people feel sorry for him? He's hitting on my wife, okay? I'm the victim here. And then on top of that, because of HIPAA, I can't even find out who this dude is. Isn't that messed up? I got to break into a government office to defend my wife. That's bullshit. Nobody's sending me snacks. And it's the worst. Even my wife gets mad at me. She's like, oh, Nathan, you're overreacting. No, you're underreacting, okay? She's just using a lot on you. He made up back when he was my age, right? You know what you're the most beautiful person in the whole world translates to in today's <laughs> language? I want to put it in your butt. That's it. <laughs> I want to put it in your butt without another nurse helping me. That's all he's telling my wife. So how can I not get upset? And then everybody gets mad at me like I'm just going to run over there and beat him up. No. Even if we met face to face, I wouldn't fight him. Are you serious? And it's not because I'm afraid of him. It's just I'm too out of shape to guarantee that I would win the fight. <laughs> That's not how I want to act. You can't be the aggressor and get choked out in an elderly home, you know? It's his elderly home, right? That's where all his friends are. That's what you want your last vision to be before you lose consciousness is all his friends laughing at you. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, this is not a fighting body. Like, have you seen those movies like where someone's getting tortured in a warehouse and like they're hanging from the ceiling or something like, Ugh. that alone would kill me right now. Gravity would rip me in two pieces. What's to keep my legs from flopping out on the ground? These abs? I only call them abs because that's where abs are supposed to be, okay? You hang me from my arms, it's just gonna look like a garbage bag full of bricks. It's gonna get real long and then snap at some point. <laughs> That's a wonderful mental picture, right? I'll be all over the floor. The torturer comes in, he'll throw up, he'll be all over the floor. 